In this video, we're going to learn how to model using forms. Forms are found under the design workspace where you see that purple cube. We're going to click on the icon. Let's go ahead and create a simple box. I'm going to click on create and select box. Also notice that right here we have shortcuts to a box, plane, a cylinder, a quad ball and a face. Let's go ahead and select the box right here. I'm going to select the plane that I want to model on. I always like to work on the floor. And I'm going to click in the middle and then I'm just going to move my mouse. So right now I'm going to type 65 for the width of this box. And to switch to the other attribute, I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to type in 115. So this box is going to be 65 millimeters by 150 millimeters. I'm going to hit enter. Next. Fusion 360 is going to ask me to either type in the height of this box or to manually move it using the blue arrow. So I'm going to move this to, let's say, 45. And then in the box attributes, we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to learn how to use the symmetry so that when we work on one side of our form, it applies to the opposite side. So I've decided that I'm going to work on this side facing us but I want everything on the opposite side to mirror. So I'm going to go to symmetry and I'm going to select mirror internal. And it's going to ask us to select a face. I'm going to select this face right here and you'll see the number one. Then we're going to select this face right here and it will display number two. And Fusion 360 is going to realize that this center line right here is going to be, is going to be our symmetry pivot. Once you're done, click on OK. And now when I select one of the faces, you will notice that the opposite face will be highlighted yellow. Next, we're going to edit this form. To edit this form, we are going to select its components. So we can select faces, we can select edges, or we can select these points right here. We can also select multiple components by holding shift. And to deselect these components, just click in the background. So let's go ahead and start editing this face right here. With the face selected, I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to go to edit form. You will see a combination of a 3D gizmo, a numerical input, and the edit form window. The 3D gizmo is very easy to use. You're going to use the arrows to move the component. So if I select this arrow right here and move it, I can move my face. I can also input a specific movement. So if I type in 15 millimeters, you will notice that we have moved this face 15 millimeters up. You can also rotate this face by using these dials right here. And we can scale these components either globally by selecting this point right here or on a specific plane by selecting on one of the triangles we also have these other handles to precisely scale in a specific axis so I'm going to go to my front view and I'm going to move these handles right here or this one right here and this one on the corner will allow us to scale on the two axes facing the camera If we move sideways, you will notice that those precise handles now are facing the side camera. So we can precisely scale them left to right, up and down, or up and down and left to right simultaneously. While we are in the edit form view, we can select another component of our object and move it around. We don't have to hit OK once we're done with it, we can continue our editing one component at a time and take advantage of our symmetry to create very simple forms and modifying their components. Once we're done editing our form, we're going to click on OK. And once we're finished with the form, we're going to click right here, finish form. And now we're ready to edit our form either with sketches or with surfaces. 
And this is how we sculpt with forms in Fusion 360.